Imagine, if you will, a world where our best supercomputers are outperformed not by more advanced technology, but by something as simple and seemingly insignificant as a single cell. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Yet, a 2010 article titled Cell-Inspired Electronics tells us that a single cell in the human body is approximately 10,000 times more energy efficient than any nanoscale digital transistor, the fundamental building block of electronic chips. In a single second, a cell performs about 10 million energy-consuming chemical reactions, which altogether require about one picawatt of power. That's one millionth millionth of a watt. This astonishing level of energy efficiency is partially accomplished through something known as reversible computation. Rolf Landauer in 1961 introduced us to Landauer's principle, which demonstrated that energy is not consumed during computation, but is only consumed during the erasure of a bit of information from a computer. A dozen years later, in 1973, Charles Bennett of IBM Research extended this concept. In his paper titled Logical Reversibility of Computation, Bennett showed that a universal Turing machine could be made both logically and thermodynamically reversible, performing useful computations at useful speed, while dissipating considerably less than KT of energy per logical step. In the same 1973 paper, Bennett stated, the biosynthesis of messenger RNA is discussed as a physical example of reversible computation. If we jump forward to 2017 in a paper titled The Astonishing Efficiency of Life, researchers explore the efficiency of biological translation, one of the most basic biological computations common across life. This process involves processing information from a genome and writing that into proteins. The researchers used Landauer's Bound, a principle of thermodynamics establishing the minimum amount of energy that any physical process needs to perform a computation, as a starting point. The results were staggering. Biological translation is roughly 20 times less efficient than the absolute lower physical bound, but around 100,000 times more efficient than a computer. And in the abstract of the 2017 paper itself, which is titled The Thermodynamic Efficiency of Computations Made in Cells Across the Range of Life, it is stated, here we show that the computational efficiency of translation, defined as free energy expended per amino acid operation, outperforms the best supercomputers by several orders of magnitude, and is only about an order of magnitude worse than the Landauer bound. This incredible level of energy efficiency plays out at the macroscopic level too. An article titled The Human Brain is Beyond Belief states that a computer processor functioning with the computational capacity of the human brain would require at least 10 megawatts to operate properly. That's comparable to the output of a small hydroelectric power plant. Yet the human brain requires only about 10 watts to function. In conclusion, the efficiency of a simple cell, and by extension the human brain, surpasses our best supercomputers by several orders of magnitude. Despite our technological advancements, we are still lagging far behind the natural world in terms of energy efficiency. One final personal note, to naively believe, as Darwinists do, that unguided Darwinian processes can possibly achieve a level of efficiency that our best engineers can only hope and dream of achieving should be the very definition of gullible that we find in dictionaries. As Jay Homnick once bluntly but succinctly stated in 2005, once you allow the intellect to consider that an elaborate organism with trillions of microscopic interactive components can be an accident, you have essentially lost your mind.